hi guys welcome back to my channel so it's been what three years since I've made a video and I want to say that I did not forget about my channel I still get comments from you guys on my videos um, asking questions about relationships and I still get a lot of comments so I, I check them and I reply periodically so I've not forgotten about my channel um, I check every so often and I'm on YouTube all the time I um, just took a break from making videos and I do miss making videos like I thought about off and on in the last three or four years since I posted my video um, about making more videos I just haven't gotten around to it because a lot has happened in my life and I will give you guys a life update um, whenever I decide to start posting more but today I'm coming back with another relationship video these are my favorite to do um, because we all have life experiences we all have been in relationships most of us and we have things to share that maybe can help someone else out and that's just my goal when I make these videos um, so the video that I'm gonna be the topic I'm gonna be talking about today is um, will I be single forever so a little bit of background about me I never really dated when I was in high school so I'm 26 now and I never really dated when I was in high school. Um, never had really a lot of interest in dating, just because maybe one of the reasons is because I went to a small, a small school, but I never really took up interest in dating per se, just because of that. And um, I don't know, I wasn't too boy crazy. Um, <clears throat> so fast forward to college is when I really my junior senior year of college is when I really started taking an interest in dating and getting myself out there and putting myself out there um, trying to date trying to meet boys men that time now men and just really um, stepping my foot out the door um, but I remember in high school although I didn't really date I still had that desire to be with someone and this lasted all the way up through high school into my college years I would just lay in bed and pray um, Lord please send the right person in my direction I don't want to be single forever and I know that that right person that you have for me is out there um, so Lord whenever your timing is right or <clears throat> um, put me in that situation to meet the person that I'm supposed to be with and so I remember saying that prayer a lot. I remember just hoping and just wondering, okay, is this the time? Am I gonna meet the person this year, next year, next week, next month? When am I gonna meet my Mr. Right? Um, and I said that prayer a lot. And just being around people who are dating your peers and hang out in groups, large groups of people who have significant others, it's a lot of pressure on you. And you're wondering why, when, how, how long am I going to be single? And my word of advice to you is to be patient. I know it sounds so cliche, but patience will pay off in the long run. And you are going to find that person that you're supposed to be with if you are patient. Um, <clears throat> So how long is too long to be single? There is no timeline. We in the society are so rushed to date and be married by a certain age. And I can tell you right now that there is no specific timeline that is right. It matters when that time for you is right. It doesn't, you don't have to be 27 23 19 it does not matter and you have to take that pressure off yourself first and foremost if you continue to pressure yourself you are going to start attracting the wrong type of guys you're going to start compromising your beliefs your values because you feel like you have to be in a relationship because maybe you're you feel like you're getting too old or maybe everyone around you is getting married or dating and you're feeling left out and I can tell you in the end that doesn't really matter um, because it it is all worth it in the end so what can I tell you right now if you're single and you're waiting for Mr. Right 
I can tell you that sitting around at home expecting that person to come to you is not going to happen. You do have to put yourself out there. You have to um, go to events, social events. So if you're in college, start going to some social events in your school, um, sporting events or clubs anything that your school has going on you have to put yourself out there if you have particular interests join a club at your school that um, meets your interests so that you can find someone who shares your interests um, and if you really are interested in anybody in your college take a stab at online dating um, there's so so much potential in the world of online dating that there are so many different types of <clears throat> avenues and ways to meet guys on online dating um, with online dating um, so put yourself out there in that aspect um, get involved in your church um, that's another way to meet guys who share your values and your morals um, but you have to put yourself out there to meet people um, I realized early on that I was I was kind of a homebody and I went to school I went to work and then I went home and I didn't really hang out with a lot of people um, I'm an outgoing person but I, I just like being at home and so I never put myself out there to meet anybody um, so my way of meeting people was through online dating and um, so online dating was a good way I really gained confidence and I really at first when I started online dating I was scared to meet guys but as time progressed I really got comfortable and with the idea and the idea that I can meet potentially meet my soulmate with online dating um, so whatever your way if online dating isn't for you like I said find an avenue that works for you when putting yourself out there to meet people you aren't <clears throat> going to be single forever if you truly put the effort into meeting the right person um, regardless of where you grow up regardless of what you look like or regardless of what your flaws are you will meet someone up if you put yourself out there and like I said just be patient in the process you're gonna might go on several dates before you meet the right person and you'll know when that person when you meet the right person because the dates won't feel forced you won't feel like you're putting a lot of effort um, because they'll just be effortless and so just take time and evaluate the things in your life be content being single and working on you and um, doing the things that you do that make you happy whether it be going to school whether it be working out um, cooking or any hobbies that you may have put your your time and energy into that and don't be so heavily focused on being in a relationship because that doesn't help you it if anything makes you depressed because you are single and so I just encourage you to be open-minded in the process of dating put yourself out there but also at the same time focus on your hobbies and things that are important to you in your life so that you can be healthy and happy when that right person comes along um, so that's my advice to you I um, will be coming back making more videos um, sharing my personal life experiences and sharing relationship advice if you have any particular topics that you want me to talk about please leave them in the comments below and if you want to share your feedback on this please once again um, put a comment below and of course subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon.